Der Alte. Hello, everybody, if you can hear me. It's a little bit windy, but I am uh, filming the Vinster here. Vincent. Basically, what we're doing is, uh, oh, it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm 54. Me. Hi, Megan. I'm not going to film myself because I don't want to uh, break the camera. So I'm just going to have, oh, look at him. Oh, he's sunbathing. He loves it. He loves it. This is my friend's garden. And he's just chilling out. He joined the sun. So I thought I'd uh, film him. Ruth, hi Ruth, Megan. Oh, I'm just gonna chill out, sit down, and just chat whilst we watch the little one relaxing. Ella, hi Ella. So yeah, this is it really. It's not, not gonna be, I mean, probably my voice is the last thing you wanna hear. We'd probably rather hear him talking, but He's not making a lot of sound at the moment. He's just relaxing and his little nose is going. <laughs> what can you smell? What can you smell, Vin? Dimitri says, hello, Jason and Vinny. I see the weather is nice today. It is, it's lovely. I'll give you um, have a look at the sky while we're here. Look, that's the sky. We don't want to go on the sun, but you know, it's pretty much a blue sky out there. So yeah, it's nice. It's a nice, uh, nice weather. It's warm. I like it when there's a breeze, though. But it can distract from the sound quality sometimes. But having a bright day definitely improves the picture. Oh, look, he's happy. I have to follow him now. So he's got his little bone. That was here already. That's the bone. If you. If everyone, anyone here listens to the um, the podcasts, that's the bone thing that I'm talking about that he likes to chomp on. They're not actual bone. I think it's rawhide or something. I don't know. Rawhide. So that's what he does. This is going to be one of those. This is probably. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's just fit. It's a Vinny cam. Vinny Cam. I should just keep quiet, really. Vicky. Hi, Vicky. So we had four people watching. Now we've got two. So I think, Vinny, we've bored them already. Not a lot going on, is there? It's weird, because I'm in his mummy's garden. And uh, so I just come here just, just to today, because she's... She's away for a little bit and I'll keep an eye on a place. And he was looking for her, couldn't find her anywhere. He was looking under the bed, in the bathroom, in the toilet, under the settee, behind all the doors, couldn't find her. And then I spoke to her on FaceTime and he lost his mind, absolutely. So you could hear a voice and he's like, oh, oh, mommy, mommy. Oh, he was so cute. He can't even be bothered to just chew the bone. He's, he's a sun lover, Then he is. He's a real sun lover, he loves. Yeah, we know what sun lover is. I don't suppose I have to really say he loves the sun, but he does absolutely love the sun. I didn't think dogs are supposed to do that. He keeps looking at me, he'd rather be left alone. But the fact that I'm talking, he doesn't know, am I supposed to look at you when you're talking, Daddy? Or are you doing one of those weird things where you talk to yourself? <laughs> Little fly, is it a fly? So yeah, this is just him doing his thing, chilling out. I 
feel like I should just, I feel like going to sleep now. It's quite relaxing watching him just lay there in the sun, enjoying the breeze. Uh, Leah's watching now. Thanks, Leah. So, Vicky, Dimitri. Seems like Vinny wants some afternoon nap. Yeah, I think so. He loves it. He loves, he does this in the bedroom. He'll either lay on top of the windowsill in the sun or he'll lay on the floor where the sun's sh still shining. He just sunbathes. I mean, maybe it doesn't overheat him because he's only got very short hair. I think if he was like a sheep. Hi, hi Leah. If he was like a sheep, um, I don't mean a sheep, but you know, long hair, like a sheep. Or a long hair like a dog with long hair. He would perhaps get a little bit overheated. But you know, it rarely gets overheated. Do you? <laughs> you, d you do get distracted by flies though, don't you? My little monkey. You're my little monkey. You're daddy's little monkey, monkey. you daddy's little monkey, monkey. So it's probably a bit windy, but it's, the wind is not going to affect the picture. It just might affect the sound. I can feel the wind in my ears, flapping my ears. Surprise you can't hear my ears flapping. Uh, Vinny, you are the cutest. Cutie. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's got your attention? What is it, Vinny? What is it, Vin? What is it, Vinny Manelli? You know, sometimes he says to me, I just wish you'd shut up. Do you have to talk all the time? <laughs> He's so rude. So it's my brother's birthday today. He's now 40, what am I? I'm 54 tomorrow, so he'll be 46 today. Well, he is 46 today. Because he was born the day before my eighth birthday. Can't believe it. That's going to be so weird when he hits 50. Well, the fact that I'm nearly 60 by then. Dimitri, uh, congrats. Thank you. He'll, um, I, I sent him a text earlier. I, I did uh, make a nice birthday card for him. I'm not sure if he'll like it or not. I thought it was funny. Basically, I did this picture. There's this ongoing thing that I, I, we kind of make fun of each other. And I've been saying to him for years that he's got the same face he was born with. Now, it might sound weird. Leah says, I like how Vinny has white socks on very cute. I know you'd think he'd take them off in this weather, wouldn't you? He is. He's, he's... You are the cutest, aren't you? You know, he's he's got a lot of... He's very popular around here. A lot of people like him, like the dog walkers. They just like how friendly he is to them. And they know his name. It was a little bit like that with Andre. The amount of people that knew Andre's name, not one person knew my name. And not one person knows my name now, but they know Vinny. Uh, uh, shh. Vinny, Vinny. See, this is what happens. Come on, calm down, calm down, calm down. Do you want to go inside? Do you want to go, Vinny? It's not going to be popular doing this. Calm yourself down. Calm down, Finny. 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 Inside, then. You want to go inside? Okay, inside. Inside. Until you calm down. Calm yourself down. On the settee. On the settee. That's it. Calm down. Shh. 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 
Calm down. Calm down, Vin. It's okay. You must have heard a, probably heard a dog or something. Calm down. Calm down. It's so loud. I bet that made everyone <laughs> jump, didn't it, I reckon? Vinny, calm down, mate. I haven't got my bleeper to stop him from barking. Good boy. Good. Oh, he's, he's, he's run out of steam now. <laughs> what he does... <laughs> you are so funny. What he does sometimes is he, he rubs his back on the bone to scratch his back. He does it with balls as well. See, he's doing it now. He's trying to... Oh. <laughs> Thing is, he can go off at a second's notice, really. If he hears something that spook well, not spooks him, but gets his attention. Uh, Dimitri says, hey, stop it now. It's enough. That's enough. Okay? It's enough. Dimitri, a very beautiful house and a nice yard. Neither of which are mine, unfortunately. It is a very lovely place. But it's just a, it's a friend's place. I'm just uh, keeping an eye on it. And I thought I would uh, bring Vinny in the garden to have a little play around. I would, I'd love to have a place like this. This is nice. And Vinny needs a garden, he really does. Just needs, just, yeah. It'd really be nice for me, but you know there's times when I don't want to go out and kind of have to go out and take him for walks. Or if it's really raining heavy, you know, I'm getting soaked and he doesn't really want to be in the rain anyway. But if you had the garden, he could just run out, do what he needs to do and then come back in. And make a mess everywhere. <laughs> no, it's a nice place, this. It's uh, way nicer than mine. But then mine could be nicer if I put a bit more effort into the place. If I, if I beautified it. But this, yeah, it's definitely... Uh, I'd like to have a place like this. One day. One day. I mean, it's alright. If you look at the garden. It's a... It's just right the right size for me, really, me and him. Because it's not a like, huge garden, but it's a nice size garden. So that he can run around and... Because he's only little, isn't he? Uh, Leah says, so funny on his back. Got to go and let my dad's out, dog out to have a great day. So glad I caught this one. Made me smile in the morning. Thank you, Leah. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, and... I will, I mean, I don't do many live, live um, streams usually, but I saw this as an opportunity just to, and I don't really like being on camera, really, but I'm sure everyone agrees it's nicer to look at him. I prefer to watch him. And this is something I can look back at as well in the future, uh, seeing him in the garden and looking super cute. Um, I did quite a few videos of Andre when he was around and I realised when I was going through them all and uploading them onto YouTube a month or two ago that I didn't have much, well first of all I didn't have hardly any videos of my friend who passed away, I had one vid or two videos of him, and they're both short, one wasn't more than a minute and a half and I realised that that was so sad that I didn't, I couldn't look at any stuff uh, of him, admittedly he didn't like, he didn't want to be filmed, but, uh, so I had to respect that, but it, I could have filmed him probably a little bit now and then, but Vinny, I want to get more videos of Vinny, just to, I'll probably upload it onto YouTube, just so people can look at it, maybe cut it up into bits, you know the bit where he's like, uh, rolling around on his back and that. But it's one, it's one of those nostalgic things, or it will be in the future, you know? 
sort of like 10 years, 20 years time maybe I can look back on this and or other people can look back on this and like, oh, I remember Vinny. Don't remember that other bloke that used to talk. You didn't you used to do the really boring podcasts. Do you remember when podcasts were a thing? <laughs> Before we just had it, you know, straight into our brain and we just decided what we wanted, just like said, tell me something boring and that was it. Didn't need, didn't need that bloke anymore. AI hey, did it all. Uh, Tina, hi Tina, Tina's here. So I've got two people in the room. In the room? On the stream. Two people on the stream. Oh, look, he's... The thing is, if he's hot, if he's overheated, then why is he still sitting there? Is my question, because he looks overheated to me. I have to get him some water in a minute. He has got some water, but it's, it's rain water. Because it's raining yesterday, so he likes he likes puddle water. It's one of the things he quite likes. So there's a bowl outside that just collects the rainwater. So he drinks out of that. And to be fair, it's probably the purest water he's going to get. Because it was raining, proper raining yesterday. Oh, why am I focusing over that? I should focus there. Blind, I forgot. There you go. He's drinking the rainwater right now. I looked at it, make sure it's all clean, so there's nothing. She she puts it out here specifically for him, for when he comes round. So, cause he, he loves, cause he used to live here. Before I took him on, he was here for about three months. Because his mum, that was his mum, it still is his mum. And she couldn't keep him because, but basically, hear the story. The story is her son-in-law, bred Vinny to sell so he not bred Vinny but he bred the parents you know now Vinny was an only child so they didn't get the money they thought they were going to get because they thought they were going to have like I don't know how many dogs how many puppies the dogs have four or five but they ended up with just one Vinny an only child so I've got pictures of him well she's got pictures of herself holding him when he was literally tiny 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 so she's known him he's known her and she's known him since the day he was born she was there when he was born so he's got that real connection with her well she he eventually he was sold which is the reason he was born to start with and the lady that took him on and bought him after I think a couple of months she got ill so she wasn't able to keep him any longer so instead of taking him to a, a hostel or something like that they she asked if the breeder which is my his mum my friend's son-in-law if he'd take him back and he said okay so he, could get, he got a chance to resell him so basically sell him twice and what happened is uh, Vinny's mum, the mother, this is confusing. Anyway, she took him on until they found someone. And then she she didn't really want to give him up after having him here. But unfortunately, he bit her on the face when she was eating some chicken. And she was concerned. It, it was a scratch. It wasn't like but it was still something you can't have happen. And she was worried about her little grandkids getting bitten in the face because that's a lot more serious for a little kid. So it could have been a lot serious for her, you know, if he'd bit her in the wrong place. Anyway, I imagine a dog bite would only make me look better. So he, she basically had to get rid of him. So what happened is uh, Dimitri says, got to go now to thank you very much for this live. Uh, have a nice day and great week ahead. Thanks, Dimitri. You too. Um, so, yeah, he, uh, it'll still be here, so you can re watch it if you want. You know, so I'll leave it on Facebook. What happened next? <clears throat> okay, I found out later that my friend downstairs. 
he told her, because he knew her, I didn't know her, but he knew her and um, he kept saying to me, oh, there's this, this little dog that Logie likes and Logie didn't like any dogs, but he was really good friends with Vinny. So I'd never met him, but I'd heard about him. Anyway, a knock on my door on a Saturday, beginning of December, nearly two years ago, well, two years this December. It's my friend there with his dog and this little thing runs through my legs into my living room. I didn't know what the hell it was. Didn't even know it was a dog, seriously. I thought, oh yeah, has he got a new ferret? I mean, it was all a rabbit or something. Yeah, because he's, he's running so fast, I couldn't actually see him. Anyway, he says to me, apparently he, he said to her, oh, Jason will have him, before saying anything to me. And he was going to buy buy him. I think it was 350 quid. So he said, oh, Jason will have him. And I'll, I'll, I'll pay for it. He'll pay for it. Rather, he did, I'm a friend. As a gift. Or was it 350 or 250? It might have been 250. Anyway. I didn't know that I'd already been promised. Like, you know, it was guaranteed I was going to have him. Because I had no intention, really, of getting a dog. It was a year and a half after I lost Andre and I still wasn't sure what I was going to do, to be fair. So, this is the end of 2022. Yeah, and my friend said, oh, he needs a new home, otherwise he's going to get, he might get put down, right? Which is not true at all. He said it, but it's not true. He was never going to get put down. <laughs> so straight away I'm like yeah I'll, I'll take him then and then I find out later on that he was never in danger but you know it was a, a ploy for me to say yes to take him on and my friend it's weird he kept saying well if you don't take him I've already taken him so regardless if you take him or not he's staying with me he's staying in this building because he lived downstairs and I said, okay, well, I'll take him, which I did. So this is a Saturday, and I think I had him from then on. Like, that Saturday night since. Now, the weird thing about it is my friend kept saying to me, every now and then, over the next... I mean, for, for, bearing in mind, he passed away at the end of November. So it wasn't even a year. I didn't even have Vinny for a year. But he said numerous times, uh, well, you're going to end up with him anyway. You're going to end up with him anyway. And I don't understand what he meant by that. Uh, now I kind of think I do, because even if he'd stayed with my friend, he'd have ended up with me, wouldn't he? So, yeah, it's weird. Wouldn't you, Vin? You'd have ended up with your daddy. Whatever happened. His uncle, oh, he loved him. You loved your uncle Luke, didn't you? Absolutely adored him. Yeah, so that's how that worked out. And then that was a Saturday. And then the Tuesday evening, which was still in December, I think it was, I think, Oh man, maybe a week went past, but we had snow for a whole week, and then on the Tuesday, it all melted, it rained, and all the snow was gone. Didn't slip over, nothing, for the whole time, there was ice on the floor, uh, but I didn't slip, apart from once in the field, and that was just in the snow. My friend runs upstairs, or he comes upstairs, knocks and says, do you want to, or he might have shouted up to the window, do you want to take them out? Do you want to take them out in the garden? Him and Logie. I said, all right, okay. Because he was still excited because it's a new dog and um, we were just couldn't believe that they both got on together. Well, I've got my, I think I've got my coat on, or I'd, I might not have had my coat. I might have done because it was winter, wasn't it? I go downstairs, I do three steps and I slip. 
and I bounce all the way down to the bottom of the stairs. Are my friends laughing? Not realizing that I've actually really hurt myself. He didn't believe me. I said, like, wait, because, and I had, I ended up, I'd fractured two, um, I'd two fractures in my back. And it was really strange because I'd only had him for a week. And suddenly I was having to take him out, hobbling about. And it took weeks before I was kind of back to, you know, to probably, probably till January. December, January, February, probably, yeah, probably end of January, begin of February, probably, before I was sort of getting back, because it took a while. I mean, I was, I was pretty much okay after about three or four weeks, maybe five weeks, but it's just things like bending over and picking his poo up and stuff like that. It's very difficult. And then try and hold a brolly when it was raining and it was just hard work and trying not to slip on the ice because it was freezing cold. That was a challenge, a real challenge. But it was also kind of funny as well. You know, I lived here for nearly, well at that point I lived here nearly nine years and for some reason I decided to slip down the stairs on that day or that evening. I was in a hurry because I think Vinnie ran down the stairs without the lead on and I'm kind of I had my um, not flip-flops but my crocs on Cro yeah I had my crocs on and they basically just slipped and it was almost like there was oil on the stairs and I bounced on my back and my bum I bounced all the way down and I said my friend thought I was he didn't think it was I'd hurt myself he was like are you sure are you serious I said, yeah I couldn't get up I couldn't move because I was in so much pain I was you know I needed him he had to physically help me up so I'm glad he was there but then if he hadn't been there I wouldn't have fallen down the stairs anyway because I wouldn't have been on the stairs rushing because it's well like kind of quickly let's go in the garden yeah, let's do it now, right this second. And then, well, that was it, really. Yeah, it was more because my friend was more concerned about who made the, the steps slippery than anything else. And I was trying to say to him, look, what's more important right now is but to me anyway, is getting medical assistance. <laughs> because, and I kept, but then I thought, no, I don't, I don't want to go to the hospital. He helped me upstairs. I struggled to sit down. I struggled to stand up. It was just, oh. And he said, well, you don't know how much damage you've done. Yeah, it could be in, I mean, I know. Um, Yeah, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes. Yes, you are. Oh. No. Ow. Did you see a pussy? Did you see a pussy? Always chasing a pussy, this one. Aren't you? Did you see a pussy cat? Hey, hey. He loves a pussy too, do you? You're addicted to pussy cats. So, um, yeah, that was it. So I didn't know. And my friend at the end, he said, look, we either need to call you an ambulance or you need to find a way to get to the hospital because there could be internal damage. I know the, the spine, obviously, and the back is internal, isn't it? But the ribs or whatever. But he said, I said, OK, I'll do that. I didn't want to call an ambulance because I didn't really want to use their resources up. And I felt I was okay apart from being in excruciating pain and not being able to really move. So I got a taxi. 
He did. He wanted to come with me, but I said, "Nah, you're all right." Because uh, I just didn't. I think there's only one thing worse than spending 13 hours in a waiting room, in a hospital, accident emergency room, waiting to be seen, and that's spending 13 hours in a hospital waiting room, waiting to be seen, sitting next to someone that you have to talk to or listen to. And I know that we were just, you know, it's easier, it's almost like, it's just easier just to do it on my own. Really, that's how I see it. And you can just, you know, can turn off, turn, turn my mind off. And also I had to con concentrate on relieving the pain as well. I couldn't do that with someone talking to me. So, yeah, as it was, it was quite a weird, weird scenario. Like people arguing and all kinds of weird things going on. And I think they was on strike as well, so it was a short, there was a small amount of people in there to, to cater, <laughs> cater, to look after the patients. And then my doctor, or the, the one of the doctors, said to me, oh, because I'm standing there, and they gave me they give me pain medication after two and a half hours of being there and then i got to the 12 hour mark and they said well we're now gonna like he interviewed me and sort of said okay touch my back and where does it hurt and stuff i said can we do this in a private room please too many people looking and he said come on they need entertainment the tv's broken i said oh okay and then he said well, we're going to give you a cat scan i said cat scan i'm not a cat he said no it's like x i mean x-ray said no cat scan that's an x-ray well yeah but anyway he said we're gonna do that and we're gonna uh, i don't think it's you got fractures because if you had a fracture you wouldn't be able to stand up okay but well, i am standing up he said, yeah, but if you had a fracture, you wouldn't be able to stand up like that. You'd be in agony. I said, I, I am in agony. It's just like, well, if you thought I've sat down for, you know, at this point it was about 12, just over 12 hours. You know, standing up, after sitting down for 12 hours, standing up, regardless of the amount of pain, is a relief. Because my buttocks needed a break. So, anyway, he did the x-ray, and they said, yeah, you got two fractures. So, he's like, nothing we can do, just give you painkillers, and you're just going to have to just be careful, and let it heal. Like, nothing, nothing they could do. <laughs> it's like, wow. But it's still, it's good to get checked out though. So if anyone else is in that situation in the future, get checked out, because you don't know what's gone on. You don't know what, what's gone on inside, which we can't see, can we? But my eyesight, I struggle to see the other side of the garden. So Vinny, will you go back upstairs now? Do you want to do a big poo? You can do it indoors if you want. She ain't here. Do you want to do a poo on her bed? <laughs> no, don't. That's wrong. Um, do you want to do a poo somewhere? Do you want to do poo poo? Vinny, do you want to do poo poo? Do you want to do wee wees? He's totally done a wee wee. Do you want to do poo poo? He's just looking at me. He's loving the breeze, aren't you? So this has lasted a bit longer than I thought it would do. I've been going on a bit, and I think we've got zero people watching now. Oh, oh, so I'm going to go, so this has been Vinny, 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 right, I'll speak to you all later, have a great weekend, if you've got a bank holiday weekend this weekend, have fun, there's still one more day left tomorrow, of the bank holiday, unless of course you're on holiday, then you've got more than one day. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, see you later. 
Say goodbye, Finn. Bye, Finn. Bye. Say goodbye, Biddy. Bye-bye.